What is poppin' y'all? I'm JLF and we're gonna continue this damn damn Edith Finch game. Alright. Close the oh, I'm closing the book. Alright, alright. Great. Is that a kitty cat? Why are we out here? This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Oh, uh, well, I mean, you I wonder why. If mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Her room yeah. was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches Oh, I remember the. I have one of these. I, I had one of these before. And misfortune. Wait, I wanted to read it. Not read it, but. Wait, how do I. How do I use this thing? Odin Finch becomes oh. the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Put it in! Oh my gosh, man. How did I do it before? Oh my gosh, man. I'm, if I fail one more time, how did I do it before? On January 7th, okay. 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore in their new home. Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. For f oh, it was a little. One thing was a little glitchy because uh, oh, so we're learning Whatever's about family wrong with history. This family? It goes back a long ways. Our R two is a little glitchy; like it won't go we'll press down all the way when I when I do press down. Saving, saving. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have. That would have been more realistic. Have. Would have been really. Even in her nineties, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Heard it. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. This is a nice. A this is like a seventies. Oh, look at me. Am I pregnant? I'm pregnant, y'all. Look at me. I got a belly. Actually, she does look a little pregnant. Now that I see it, there's a chair in here. Okay. Oh, does it? It unlocked. <laughs> There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you. Oh, I love these type of books it when I was younger. It's hidden in this book. Okay. That is some weird stuff. Why is this here? Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Oh, and this is where he would uh, develop the photos. Okay. You're pregnant, lady. How are you doing this? Alright, great. Um, Fort Sam. 
I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. I guess my this is a really history any more than my mom did. Alright, so I guess we're finding more about our relatives. <clears throat> How I want to remember my brother. By, By Sam, Sam Pinch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh, I know how to swing. Oh, his leg is broken, though. Push back. And then forward. And then back again. And then forward. Are we, this is gameplay, by the way. Swinging. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Okay. What does that say? Oh! No way! Oh! At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And that makes him. sense! I'm controlling both feet, by the way. Calvin always wanted to fly. This is insane. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. To do what? I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Bro, I'm really wilding. Alright, fine, fine. Hadn't picked up. Wait, wait, I can't even get off. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Alright, let's stop. I'm really trying to stop, but it's not, like, letting me. Come on, man. Alright, <laughs> this is really weird. But I'm trying to stop you, man. She's calling. Alright, maybe I was supposed to continue. This man is really wildin'. I would never swing like this in person. I think he'd already made up his mind. Bro! That's what I want to remember about my brother. Bro! This man is wildin'! First off, I would never in my life. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. After the funeral, Andy roped off Calvin's half of the room. Well, Calvin is a really wild out kid, first of all. Alright, we found a little special thing over here. Oops. No way. This is really crazy. Now pull it. Or lift it. How can one house have so many, like, secret hidden doors? Passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Obviously. Oh, we're back here now. Oh, okay. Bet. Okay, so 
Growing up, this is I creepy. always thought of Barbara as a child star. Did I dead ass just come out from the drawer? All right. So anyway, moving on to we more weirdness. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Dreadful stories. Guest stories starting Baba French. Death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. It'd be like that. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. And did she do it? Her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Ew. Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that's that a scream. was a great scream. <laughs> no way. Sven, he'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. What? Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Can you stop judging? My dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Oh. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. She reached for the music box. No way, I'm controlling it now. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. What? I'm Michael Myers! She found Rick's crutch and then. Oh, wait, no, I'm not Michael Myers. Don't come any closer. All right, come any closer. Hello? The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family 10 years ago tonight. Die. Okay. Move. What was that? Don't come any. I don't want to go any closer. Get it! Get it! Oh dear! Oh. Rick. Barb. I'm relax. never been. I was just I'm trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you He deserved that. I'm so disappointed. I dead to remember him by. Barb. I dead ass thought it was Michael Myers. And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours 
later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, we're dead, Walter. I swear to God. Oh, Michael Myers again. Hello? Oh, sh oh my god, stop it! Stop it enough. Roller skates aren't supposed to go down on their own. Hello? Walter, are you there? Hello? Walter vanished, but his bedside radio is still on. Orca's Island Police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Oh, gosh. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. Kick him. Yeah, yes. Way out of here. Through the window! Oh my god, why not? Oh, through this window. Night, night. She played her part beautifully. Now what? stairs me and finish him off is he still there please tell me <gasps> he's not he vanished she listened for his breathing but all she heard was no way I, I seriously gotta answer it couldn't be me just saying who out there? First, let's check. The door was dying to speak to young Barbara. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Behind you. <gasps> oh, dear. I swear to God, oh my God. It was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. Scream. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Boy, All the this. She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He was hiding time. under... Wow. Oh, pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> All of that just for a scream, son. You gotta be kidding me. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. 
as absurd as that comic was. Oh, so it's like a... Saw was a happy ending. <sighs> so it was like a... Ooh, like a true comic. Is that a cake? Alright. Oh, man. That was very weird and stupid. But it was pretty cool. Like, you controlling the comics and controlling all this stuff. But, uh... I'm about to end it here. I hope you I hope you enjoy my gameplay of this game. <laughs> gameplay of this game. Um like and favorite, subscribe. Uh Yeah, I'll see you in the next video.